Oh my god! Woo! I'm here! So, I'm not entirely sure if this works perfectly. Um, this is literally the first time I've tried any of this, and everything's all been resized, and I've got you know new stuff going on in like scenes and sources and all sorts of crap. So, uh, let's just try the text box. So, it works! It works! It's alive. Um, okay, so that's that's good. That's good. Um, okay, let's try a be a, be right back. And back to me. Seems there's a a gap between now I might need to tweak a little bit a bit of a bit of a delay but it seems to work okay um okay so now let's switch to the in-game layout hey there we go so webcam has gone up to the sorry from your perspective up into the corner um <clears throat> and let's just test a follow alert Yes, I like this. Uh, let's try a host alert. Nice. And finally, let's try a donation alert. Okay. Well, they all seem to work okay. So let's actually try switching to the game for realsies. Uh, let's do the game. Okay. Uh, okay, so this is creepy. I remember this being incredibly creepy. Again, this will be like literally like two, three minutes of gameplay at most. It's just a case of testing the CPU load because obviously you know new scenes, new overlays. They're going to use CPU as well, um, and just generally checking like mic levels, uh, how the game looks, how it all goes together on screen. Up we go. So I'm actually getting buttery smooth sixty frames per second here. at all, at least not for me. So, 
the stream is having any effect. It's certainly not having any effect that's noticeable on the game. And it is really, really lovely and smooth. Fantastically beautiful game. Made with CryEngine, no less. And yet it doesn't suck or use all your system resources. Of course we can't put a hole in the outside. That would be silly. Goodies. Again, didn't know they were there. They may not be there for the next playthrough either. Around here somewhere. Most of your operators down there somewhere. Hey, I bastard. Standing on a hedge like it's a wall. How is that supposed to happen? Hmm. Well, that seems to work okay. So. Stylish alerts. Yeah, I know. I quite like them. They're, they're pretty cool, actually. Um, I mean, generally, the, the, the kind of scenes in the background and everything are kind of like, mm, it's all funky and cool. Um, finally, I'm, I'm, cause beforehand I was struggling with Photoshop. I was literally just kind of like, I can make a grey background. Um, so I decided to cave and use all of the Streamlabs um, OBS themes to go with it. If, you, if you're just using regular OBS, Neil, try having a go with Streamlabs OBS. It's kind of like an all-in-one like broadcasting deck. It includes regular OBS and you can import your OBS scenes into it seamlessly. Um, but it gives you the ability to do things like automated themes like this. I mean, this took me an hour to set up um, and to kind of fiddle with. Um, and you get a whole range more uh, sources, and it's a lot easier to sort of set stuff up. So you can kind of have a, like your little preview icon down at the bottom corner. Um, and you can see your mixing deck and, you know, flip between all your presets. You can also see at a glance, you know, your subs, your donations, um, your follows, your, basically your, your entire activity and your stream deck all like all in one go. Um, and then while you're streaming as well, you can go to your dashboard, um, which has you know your peak viewers per day, how many people have said stuff in in chat, the average view time. Um, very useful as a yeah, very useful. I like it. Um, so, uh, yeah, so that's, I guess, uh, the first sort of successful test of the stream. I'm going to go and watch this back and see what the frame rate was um, and whether or not I'm happy with it. But anyway, um, cheers for stopping by, um, and I will be on Discord later. <laughs>